Initially, I got the idea because my son needed a place to stay and we couldn't find anything affordable. And I actually got provoked by that, that the students can find a place. The first time I met Kim and he mentioned the idea of building student homes uh, out of containers, I thought, uh, I mean, of course, but I'm sure that it's already been, uh, been done before. But then when we looked down, it, it actually hadn't been done and it felt like we should definitely be the ones to do it. Since I moved to Copenhagen last year, I've moved four times. It's been really stressful. There just aren't that many housing opportunities for students. It is really difficult when you don't originally come from Copenhagen and have a big network. I think the concept of urban rigor is really amazing. There's so much water and they've just placed these urban riggers out here and made the opportunity for our students to have a house. When you're on water and you look at the city, you see the city in a different perspective. And you see areas that are underutilized. Take a tour in the canal boats and you'll see the city from a different perspective. You actually see how many places it's possible to utilize the water areas. With the riggers, we had quite obvious uh, resources. We have abundance of daylight and potential solar heat gain. If you live there, you can actually heat your home from the shining sun. But a small amount, I think only four square meters, uh, actually power the heat pump that extracts heat from the sea. And so in that sense, as the ultimate symbol of hedonistic sustainability, uh, the students here can take long, warm showers without feeling uh, guilty. Urbanization, people moving to the cities, is both a problem, but it is also the solution. So how do we make the problem a part of the solution? I think the urban rigor is an answer to that. We think smart. And by thinking smart, I mean thinking sustainable. Now, sustainable solutions means that it both looks good, it's nice to live in, but also that it performs. I would definitely consider living at Urban Rigor if they were to build more. It balances the whole privacy and the social aspect of living in a, a dorm. It also is relatively affordable, which is a big plus when you're a student. We started with this rigor and, uh, and I think it feels like an idea that could be incredibly fun to, to take much further, to keep exploring how maybe at some point new technologies become available we can even sort of upgrade the urban rigor for uh, for future students we hope to inspire the next generation of students so i think my wish in general is just to you know get them out there and get some roof over their heads at the end of the day they are our future